Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. And we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office selection. And today for Tuesday, let's go through once again our novena to God the Holy Ghost, just as the disciples waited in prayer between the Feast of the Ascension and when our Lord sent the Holy Spirit to be upon them on the Feast of Pentecost, so too we will spend nine days in between praying for those gifts. Today for Tuesday, we pray for the gift of knowledge. The gift of knowledge enables the soul to evaluate created things at their true worth in their relation to God. Knowledge unmasks the pretense of creatures, reveals their emptiness, and points out their only true purpose as instruments in the service of God. It shows us the loving care of God and even in adversity and directs us to glorify him in every circumstance of life. Guided by its light, we put first things first, the prize of friendship of God beyond all else. Knowledge is a fountain of life to him that possesseth it. Let us pray. Come, O blessed spirit of knowledge, and grant that I may perceive the will of the Father. Show me the nothingness of earthly things, that I may realize their vanity and use only them only for thy glory and our salvation, looking ever beyond them to thee and thy eternal rewards. Amen. And now we will once again pray our act of consecration to the Holy Ghost. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light, listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus, looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper in my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Father and of the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. And now our prayer for the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus Christ, for before ascending into heaven, it's promised to send the Holy Ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and inspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen.